I lived in the public eye. And I really believe a lot of what they said. Diva. Serial bride. And I said to her once, doesn't this bother you? And she said, I expected this. Ben Affleck getting candid about fame, specifically how it impacts his fiance, Jennifer Lopez. The Oscar winner opens up in Jen's documentary, Halftime, dropping June 14th on Netflix. It's a short but powerful moment that dropped in the trailer on Wednesday. And I said to her once, doesn't this bother you? And she said, I expected this. The documentary is centered on Jen preparing for the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show. I want something real. I do this not for an award. No, I do this to connect with people and make them feel things because I want to feel something. Feel something? Oh, we sure felt something. And E.T. was with Jen just days leading up to the big moment. We're gonna try to give the best Super Bowl show ever, you know. J.Lo's documentary also covers the highs and lows of her work in Hustlers. But it's like robbing a bank, except you get the keys. Are you in? Not only did the movie generate Oscars buzz, but Jen did too for her performance as a stripper named Ramona. What do you make of all the buzz? I mean, it's... It's incredible. You know, you, you sign on to these movies, you give it your all, you do, do all you can, you know, learning the, the pole dancing, the emotional journey of what these girls go through. Um, me playing a character like I've never played. I'm a real badass here, a real bad girl. Kessler's first review is Jennifer Lopez is Oscar worthy. It was hard. I just had a very low self-esteem. Halftime will also look at the multi-hyphenate's long career, from her days in the Bronx to Hollywood royalty. My whole life, I've been battling to be heard, to be seen, to be taken seriously. One thing that's changed since the documentary was shot, Jen's love life. While filming, she was engaged to Alex Rodriguez. I mean, we've been having a lot of fun, and uh, I've been enjoying just spending time with her, our kids, her kids, and it, we learn, we have a lot of fun with each other. But they broke things off in 2021, and now Jen is one half of Benefer 2.0. I've heard you say so many times that you are a hopeless romantic, and yeah. you still believe in love, I you do. believe in marriage. So like Kat, you still believe in all of those Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, is, has Ben seen the movie yet? You brought your fellow yes, with you tonight. He's yes, seen it. Yeah, okay. yeah. He, this is just a good date night. It's a great date night. We're super happy. Um, what can I tell you? We're just having a good time. I would be remiss if I didn't say you were standing taking photos in front of a sign that says marry me. <laughs> it's very big. It I is. didn't really realize how big the letters were. <laughs> it didn't take long for Ben to pop the question again, just over a year after rekindling their romance. And while we stay tuned for any wedding updates, we'll have halftime to look forward to.